Hey you guys, Sarah Gaston here. Listen, it has been a while, but I've had so many things I've wanted to talk to you about. And even though I'm dressed like I'm getting ready to go take a long walk in this beautiful October Halloweenish weather, I decided to talk to you instead. Well, not instead, just first. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about training versus getting coached. Let me explain. So sometimes somebody will come to me and they will say, hey, I have this huge audition. It's for some Netflix show. Of course, this was before the strike and this will happen after the strike has ended, I assure you. But they'll say, hey, I got this um, this audition for this huge Netflix show. Um, I want you to come. I want you to tape me and also I want you to coach me. OK, which is fantastic. I love to coach actors. It's one of my favorite things in the whole darned world. However, here is what will happen. An actor will come to see me for said taping. They may or may not have learned their lines. They may or may not have done their actor work. They haven't been training and they've only booked an hour or maybe they have two or three scenes. Now, here's the thing. If you come to me for coaching for say said taping, I'm going to only improve the performance that you've already brought me. So if you haven't even done any work and you've brought me sort of this half-baked performance, there's only so much I can do. I'm not a wizard, although I'd really like to go to Hogwarts. Um, so that's where training comes in. Training is exactly what it sounds like. It is consistently and rigorously working on your craft so that when you have a big opportunity, you are like ready to go. So I'll use the example of a sports figure. Let's say somebody like Simone Biles, okay? She doesn't come to Bella Caroli and say, okay, hey, I wanna get ready for the Olympics. So can you show me how to do a walkover? No, she has been training for years. She knows how to do gymnastics. She knows how to do all the stunts. She knows how to put them together. She has an extraordinarily high skill level. And then he's there to refine and perfect and to give an outside eye to what she's already worked so hard on her own to elevate it to another even more exceptional level, okay? If she comes to him and says, well, I don't really know how to do any of the stunts yet, or I kind of know some of the stunts, but I need a little work, but get me ready for the Olympics. Like there's only so much that he can do, okay? Same with acting, right? I want you to come to me like an athlete, like you've been training, you've been in class, or you've been working with your friends, or you've been doing theater, or whatever it is that you're doing to keep your skills sharp. And then you come to me and you've done your actor work and you've you know worked on your performance and you've got your lines, if not totally memorized, you're, you're very, very familiar with the script so that you can cheat when you're using your script, right? And then you just come to me to polish the diamond, right? Like you're already a diamond, I'm just going to polish you, sparkle you up a little bit more, make you ready, you know, for presentation. I don't know. That was a weird analogy. I think you get my point, right? So just understand that distinction because it really hurts my heart when I see an actor get a huge opportunity, um, an audition for something really, really amazing, and they haven't done that pre-work and they haven't done it consistently and rigorously. And so they've gotten this great opportunity. And I know when they walk in the door that nothing's gonna happen because they haven't prepped, okay? So anyway, that's my two cents. I've missed you ever so. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, and I hope it was, um, please share with friends. Please like and subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you really want all sorts of extra goodies that I don't share anywhere else, go to my website, sarahgastonnoh.com and subscribe to my email list. And as always, break a leg out there.